All right, guys. So my water filter is turning brown and my water pressure is down a lot. I've only installed this about two weeks ago and look how brown it turned. Not exactly sure what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I have this other one. Now, when I purchased this house two months ago, this, um, this was set to here like between bypass and off and I slid it to filter so as you can see there's a bypass there's an off and there's filter it was here and when I put the new filter I slid it to this to this side so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and show you what it looks like okay so it's loose see that looks brown brown okay the new filters in and this is what the, the old filter looks like looks like dirt yeah it looks like dirt I mean it could be anything but uh, I did purchase a water test kit and I'll be testing the water tomorrow it's embedded in there pretty good see my fingers it looks like mud now the water pressure in the house went down dramatically over the last uh, couple of weeks don't know if anyone knows what this is if you worked on this on these systems before put it in the comments below okay guys so I purchased a water test kit verify from Amazon I'm gonna link it below but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and test the water here in the house all right so what's inside it has a hundred test strips and it'll test 16 parameters this has a bacteria test two jars and a test tube. So I'm gonna open up some of the strips here. There's 20 test strips in there. So here is my first strip. Let's go and test it. So what you want to do is run the water for about a minute. And then you go to rinse off the test tube a couple of times. You're going to fill it up with water. You're gonna insert the strip in for two seconds. You're gonna shake off any excess water. And now you have a minute or 60 seconds to verify your results. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, strip next to this container with uh, all the uh, parameters there. And the first one is pH. And my pH is about six and a half to seven. It's about seven. My hardness is about, yeah, it's hard. It's between 50 and 100. You see that? That's what I was looking for, hardness. So I'm gonna guess it's about maybe 70 or 80. Hydrogen sulfide is good. Iron, which is the third, the fourth one down. Now my iron is kind of low, which is a good thing. Copper is uh, 0.1, that's low. Lead is it's also low 
manganese seems to be very low chlorine there is none this is a well by the way mercury is very low nitrate is low nitrite is low sulfate is low as well zinc is very low fluoride is super low sodium sodium is on the low side as well and total alkalinity is yeah very low as well so yeah my results are pretty good except for hardness hard hardness is about 80 80 yeah 80 85 or so so that's the only thing that i had to um take care of all right guys so now we're gonna do a bacteria test so we're gonna fill this uh, small jar up to this line here and there is a some kind of powder inside i don't know if you can see it and once we fill it up with water we're gonna shake it for a couple of minutes until this water is dissolved and then i'm gonna put it in a dark uh, cool place for two days on the second day we're gonna come and read the results now there's two possible results yellow means that there is no bacteria and the green I don't know if you can see it there um, means that there is bacteria highly likely that harmful bacterial bacteria are present if it's green no bacteria if it's yellow so we're gonna go ahead and do that now Okay, and now we're gonna shake it for about two minutes until that powder is dissolved. Today is Saturday, we're gonna inspect it Monday. Today it's about uh, 3 p.m., so Monday at 3 p.m. we're gonna check. All right, so I think that's fine. We're gonna put it away and we'll see you in two days. So I'm very happy with the uh, water test results. But now I'm going to add this rest care and feeder to the brine tank to take care of any iron deposits on the water softener. So basically it comes with a feeder and this rest care. So what the feeder is, it's nothing more than a wick and a handle for your for your rest care bottle so i'm gonna have to drill, drill two holes on the brine tank in order to install this and put the water bottle right there and this wick this part goes into that bottle and this goes into the brine tank so but before i I drill my holes, I'm going to have to submerge this in water for at least a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take the lid off the brain tank and I'm going to put it... Now, for this rest care, you can put it outside of the tank or inside. I am going to put mine on the inside. So I'm going to take up the old Riz Up feeder. I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to drill two holes right right about here and the wick is gonna go right in there all right guys so I'm gonna drill two half inch holes on the side of the brine tank and it should be about about six inches away from the brine tube which is right here okay now if your tube if the top of your tube does not have a lid or it doesn't have a hole already in it then you can drill a half a half inch hole on top so you can feed the wick so i'm going to drill my first hole right about here now i'm going to measure about an inch and three eighths from my first hole and i'm going to make my mark 
and drill the second hole. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. There we go. Now I'm gonna open up the rest care bottle and I'm gonna put the wick inside. It may be best if you hold it down for two minutes. Now if you hold it down for a couple of minutes, which is recommended, it will absorb the uh, risk here a lot faster. All right, so this end is gonna go right on the bottle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push the wick down all the way down to the bottom of the bottle. There we go. I can feel it and hit bottom. Yep, I can even see it down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this bottle right right here. And then I'm gonna feed the wick to this brine tube. One thing I'm going to do too is I'm going to squeeze the bottle to feed the rest gear into the wick. All right, guys, so there it is. The wick is inside the, uh, the tube, and the other end is all the way at the bottom of this uh, container or this jug. Now, the rest gear, what it is, is a resin cleaner. It cleans out the resin in this tank, the water softener, and it covers or it takes care of the iron and a few other contaminants that the salt does not take care of so yeah it is recommended that not only you have salt on the brine tank but you also have something like res care or even res up which is the the type that i had before so yeah i'm looking forward to much cleaner water in the future all right i'm gonna go ahead and close this up we are done for today. All right guys, so I'll be linking this below on the uh, description of this video. And I hope you learned something about this and I surely did today. It's just a first for me and I'm hoping that, uh, yeah, hoping for cleaner, uh, better tasting water. Even though my water right now tastes pretty good, but uh, yeah, you have to take all precautions. All right guys, so here's the test. So, okay guys, so it's two days later. So as you can see, we have no harmful bacteria in our water. It's yellow. So yeah, we're good to go.